Hiya once again, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Hey, in this video, I'm going to go back in time a bit. We're going to do a little bit of nostalgia. We're going to go all the way back to the, to the Windows 8 and even the Windows Vista days. What do I mean by that? Well, if you guys remember, gadgets were really popular during those two operating systems. And there were all sorts of gadgets back in those days. Uh, you know, Windows and even users have since kind of migrated away from those gadgets. But if you're still interested in having gadgets on your current computer, whether it be 10 or 11, and you want to kind of reminisce a little bit, I have the perfect program for you it is an actual gadget aggregator, and it is, it's a clean program, uh, ad-free, and it's free. This is a one-stop shop for all gadgets, basically, that was created back then. And they still work quite well in Windows 11, so here's how you get this. You want to head over to 8gadgetpack.net and hit that download button, but just... Have a look here at all of the gadgets on the right here that this program offers. It's a quite extensive list. And 99% of them still work. Uh, I'm going to show you here several of them that do. But goodness gracious, um, it's, it's a nice nice uh, collection of all the old, uh, old school ga gadgets that you used to mess around with there on Windows Vista and Windows 8. But anyways, uh, also consider donating if you like this product uh, to this guy right here on this site. There's a donate button. So let's have a look. So once you have your 8 gadget pack downloaded, go ahead and run the installer. And once you have it installed, you can go to your apps here and go ahead and run that program. Once you run it, it'll take a minute here just to uh, gather some information and it will launch. And it'll bring you right to the old school sidebar on the right side of your desktop, which, by the way, can be deleted if you so wish. There are uh, lots of um, configuration options with this program that you can mess around with to get it kind of how you like it. And there's our sidebar. And oh, wow, look at that. The old school looking style of gadgets there. And then you'll get a pop up in here with all of the available gadgets uh, that are offered. And oh man, I'm already starting to reminisce on some of these. I recognize quite a few of these guys. I haven't seen them in such a long time. We're gonna go ahead and check out a few of them, see how they look. There's a button you can click down here at the bottom that gives you more information about the gadget itself and the author of it and the author's site. There's a, oh, I really do remember this agenda agenda gadget here. Uh, let's just open that up. You see, double click on it and it opens up that app on the right pane of your desktop. And you can uh, make it larger. You can move it around. You can select days. You can create reminders. It shows the exact date of today. Now, there's a nice little asterisk here at the very top of this app right in the middle that allows you to set appointment times and reminders. Pretty nice little uh, gadget here. I, I, do, I do miss this one, I will say. I remember it from, from years ago. So yeah, so we'll go ahead and close this one off. And don't forget, we can move these gadgets anywhere we want to on our desktop. Just by clicking over here on the right, there's a small bar there. You can just drag it wherever you want. You can minimize it, get, make it small again, place it wherever you like. Let's have a look at another gadget. Now this next one here is a good old classic. The good old CPU meter. Remember these? It's great. It monitors all your cores. It's got a nice colorful layout. It monitors all your cores. Got a lot of settings in there you can change customizable. You can change colors too. So that's pretty cool. Let's set this one aside and go to the next one. 
Ah, uh, this next one, I remember this was a good old classic. Yeah, this next gadget is, is a gadget where you can run or load up any app you want to. It's, it's a nice, conveniently located right here, and you can change uh, whatever you want inside this box. And it's a quick little shortcut way of running apps or opening folders. Oh, Internet Explorer, look at that. <laughs> it's still on there. So we can get rid of that, actually, just by going into this uh, the settings here. We can actually get rid of Internet Explorer. That's funny. Yeah, we'll just click Internet Explorer here and click Remove, and there you go. And again, you can add any application you'd like to into this pane simply by clicking the Add button there. Or you can just simply drag and drop an icon, and it'll automatically populate for you. Let's set this app or this gadget aside here. Let me show you another real neat one that I really like. We're going to open up a web browser here and going to highlight some text randomly and just we're going to copy that. And when we do that, it pops up here on the right on this gadget, which keeps track of all of your clipboard entries. And it'll it'll track them even when you replace text in your clipboard it it'll it'll keep it'll keep logs of it so you can always scroll back and uh, have a look at, at what you have had in your clipboard and that can be handy in some situations all right let's go ahead and close these guys out let's have a look at another one here oh yeah this one i remember this one control system with this gadget it has its own clock of course but on this, you have real quick shortcuts to PC shutdown, PC sleep mode, PC restart, log out, uh, quick little shortcut buttons there. And it's also configurable to a certain point. Let's have a look at another one here. Oh, yeah, the good old classic CPU monitor. About this guy, remember that? It's just two gauges that basically monitor your CPU's. Uh, usage and your RAM usage conveniently in one in one place. Gosh, that one's that one's really old school. I remember that. That was one of the first gadgets I had on my older computers. Let's see what else we have here. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. How about this one? The desktop calculator. This gives you a nice colorful uh, interface here for a calculator. Something different than the, the the Windows 11 calculator. I mean, look at that. That's, that's a nice layout, nice colors, easy to read, convenient, nice. Ah, uh, here's one. Currency converter. You can convert any type of currency you'd like. You can expand it, make it larger, pick whichever type of currency that you want to convert. All sorts of options there. Hey, that's pretty convenient right there on your desktop, ready to roll. And of course, we have the good old weather app here. Good old weather app is always uh, good to have around. This one's fully customizable too. It's always good to have a, a nice visual on your weather there on your desktop. It's all interchangeable. You can change um, colors, Fahrenheit to Celsius, what have you. So let's click on tools here on this gadget and you can see it gives you some other options that you have. You can disable auto run. You can make gadgets larger. You can disable the sidebar. That's a big one for a lot of people because it is kind of ugly. You can enable win plus G for gadgets. Uh, you can reset the gadgets. You can uninstall gadgets. So if you look up top here, you have some arrows. If you click to the right, you'll start seeing even more more gadgets to choose from, quite a lot of them. All this old school stuff, I remember all this from the day. And then they give you even more to choose from. So look at there, I remember those also. Wow, very nice. Some, some of these won't work uh, with Windows 11, but like I say, 99% of them do. Some of them glitch out a little bit. That's just because they're, you know, older. But anyways, guys, everybody, thanks for going down memory lane with me. Some of you may enjoy and not mind going back in time and giving these gadgets a try again. I think others may not give a, 
a rant's whatever about this, but um, hey, I saw the app, Eight Gadgets Pack. I said, why not give it a try? It's been a while since I've seen these gadgets. Now, I see here's one that's glitching out on me right here, this particular gadget. So, like I say, they're not all working perfectly on Windows 11, but surprisingly, most of them, almost all of them are. Anyways, head over to 8gadgetspack.net and uh, download the software and, hey, leave the guy a donation. He's, he's letting you have this for free. Anyways, I'm Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Until next time, everybody, see you soon.